so this was cool and i think that it really kind of showcases um you know the world we live on now do i think that this is something that actually could happen or not listen i'm not a prognosticator in any way shape or form and you know i i honestly think that it really kind of comes down to the fact that sony themselves are very much in this world where they want to kind of dictate what's going on with you know gaming and gamers and and things like that and and listen as, as the way that people think that you know that that microsoft is being like this super friendly group or whatever and you know they're oh hey we uh uh, you know, we love we gamers everywhere. Gamers are gamers and all this kind of stuff, right? Um, uh, the way that I kind of look at that is it's kind of BS, kind of PR nonsense. And, you know, it's a real shame that they've kind of were neutered in such a way that, you know, it makes it kind of hard to be a fan of Xbox, you know? And it's like, I like the actual Xbox, if that makes sense to you guys. But at the same time... Um, I, I really, really kind of dislike the actual company themselves. So hopefully that kind of makes sense um, where I'm coming at. And, you know, again, it really kind of comes down to how you feel about this stuff. But this would be kind of interesting. I, I Listen, I don't really see this happening, but it is curious nonetheless. And I'm sure that there's some people that would want to see this happen. So let's go ahead and get into it. What's up, everybody? I'm Crap Gamer. This is Crap Gamer Reviews back with yet another video. Thank you so much for checking it out. I certainly appreciate it. Please like, share, subscribe. I would appreciate that as well. It really helps out my channel tremendously and means a lot to me personally uh, if you guys could do that. Now, listen, I get that everybody's kind of doing their own thing these days or whatever, but I do daily gaming content, uh, uploads every day about gaming. I try to be informative, but I also try to be entertaining, and hopefully that comes across. And if you guys do enjoy that, I'm the person for you because I do, you know, a lot of video game content and it's fun. You know, like gaming is supposed to be fun. I try to keep it that way. So keep that in mind as we go along. Uh, I find this to be a, a very interesting topic because it's something that I've actually covered multiple times in the past. And, you know, uh, will this happen? I, I kind of doubt it. So Helldivers on Xbox, Helldivers 2. Could that happen? Their developers say something interesting. So, you know, the gaming world went kind of crazy for Helldivers 2 earlier in the year. I can admit that that is a really fun game. And I think the reason why it's fun is because the way they handle it, right? It's like ever evolving in the game or whatever. You have kind of this common goal that you're working to and for. And that makes it a lot of fun to kind of jump into and play. Um, you know, obviously it was on the PS5 and PC. And it was a massive game uh, that really went on to be way more popular than every, anybody ever imagined. Uh, even way back when there was talk about an Xbox version with Phil Spencer commented on the situation. Do you guys remember his comment? I kind of made fun of him for it. And listen, I still think it's funny um, because he, like, here's his comment. He says, and I quote, this is Phil Spencer. He says, I will say when I look at a game like Helldivers 2, and it's a great game, kudos to the team shipping on PC and PlayStation. I'm not exactly sure who it helps in the industry by not being on Xbox. If you try to twist yourself to say, like, someone that benefited somebody somewhere. But I get it. There's a legacy in console gaming, and we're going to benefit by shipping games and not putting them on other places we do the same thing so in one sentence he's like i'm not sure who this helps in the industry you know what helped phil it helped sony i mean they were selling a ton of consoles people were buying consoles to play this game uh at a time when playstation really had not a lot going on and their sales kind of had so went down a little bit but anyway Outlet Video Gamer has pulled some fresh quotes from Arrowhead Community Manager, uh, which originally came from Discord, where one fan asked if it was impossible that the game could one day come to Xbox, and the dev dropped some interesting insight in response. And listen, I'm going to link this in the description. Y'all can check this out because I feel like this is a you know quality type of response, and you know probably one that you would expect. To be honest with you, like I'm sure developers overall, especially like if you're a second party developer or whatever, you probably have that kind of thought process where, yeah, I'd like to get my game on, you know, in more places and I would love to get my game, you know, played by more people. Um, but I, I, I always question this, this a little bit because it's like, at what point do we realize as as gamers or whatever that you know xbox fans just you know they don't buy a lot of stuff like this they would maybe play it if it were uh something in 
you know, in, in in Game Pass or something. But a lot of Xbox gamers don't spend money on stuff. You know, it's unfortunate uh, the way that things kind of go. But um, so anyway, this is what he had to say. Uh, who says if Helldivers couldn't come to Xbox, it's not up to us, but to Sony and Phil to duke it out. But hypothetically speaking, if both partners think it would benefit them from a financial brand standpoint, it could if Sony believes it won't, though. It won't. So again, I don't really see, like, I can understand that, you know, Sony, you know, I, I don't really see Sony as looking into this and going, oh, yeah, there's definitely a reason or, or a, a path to put this on Xbox. Like, I just don't see that as being a thing because, you know, they know more than anybody that Xbox is struggling right now um, with in a lot of reasons. And so that's that's a big reason why, you know, a lot of gamers kind of avoid what Microsoft is doing. You know, Microsoft has made it very unclear about the exclusive situation and things like that. Um, that makes it a complicated thing. You know, it, it's very complicated um, right now in, in Camp Xbox, uh, you know. Uh, seriously it's just it's just one of those things where we're kind of looking at things and going well wonder what kind of bad news they're going to announce next and you never know what it's really going to be so it's an intriguing take but one that ultimately puts the ball in sony's court of course at this stage we've seen the playstation owner uh branch out to pc um and the switch with one game the lego horizon adventures but xbox seems to be a bit too far for them although the mlb the show is kind of an exception but sony doesn't actually publish the game on xbox and we all kind of know the story behind that uh you know i know a lot of people like to bring it up and go oh well sony puts mlb the show on xbox and they put it on game pass well actually major league baseball publishes that game themselves and forced sony's hand because they wanted it on every platform and threatened to take away the, the actual license from sony if they didn't make it available on all the other platforms so yeah that's pretty much why and then people bring up the whole bungee thing um bungee's agreement to being bought out in the first place had a lot to do with you know being able to keep being a multi-platform developer so you know there is that um and the same thing with uh like marathon that's going to be on xbox but that was planned before sony even bought them and they agreed to buy them even knowing that that was going to be the case obviously with microsoft some of its games and probably a lot of their games will end up on the ps5 uh, after the initial Xbox launch, you know, Indiana Jones Doom is a day one game. Um, you know, so again, I wouldn't put too much stock in Sony doing this stuff because Sony still looks at um, Microsoft as, you know, uh, somebody that they want to kind of put out of business. I don't think they look at them um, as, you know, as like this this thing that, that realistically um is, is 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 competition per se but i do think that they look at it as a way that maybe uh you know they could like put them out of business if they tried hard enough i mean listen microsoft stopped being competition for them a while ago but i think in particular once they started putting like xbox first party stuff on there like you know i mean how could you make an argument for sea of thieves you know what i mean i know people go but it's a games as a service game but listen that game was the one of the few bright spots in the xbox one generation and you know they gave it to sony and it was playing best on playstation um that's a big problem you know so uh, you know I, I continue to kind of stick by that and say hey you know what not only is that a problem but um you know microsoft really kind of uh put off some customers and things by doing that so you know there's you have no way of knowing what's what and i think that's like the real issue is like people are kind of fed up with that kind of stuff you know it's like we don't know what's coming next and that's really really unfortunate because i feel like xbox does have you know some pretty interesting um you know games and some pretty interesting stuff but again um they're not doing a good job of making sure that uh, people have uh, you know a reason to actually own an xbox so uh, you know, hopefully that's something that they can kind of work out before too long. And, you know, listen, uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and I'll make sure to kind of put this uh, and link in the description and you guys can check it out. But how would you guys feel? Do you think, I mean, I think the ship is long since sailed, um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, kind of what's happening there. But, uh, you know, anything could happen. I, I just do think that it really kind of comes down to if they would be like interested in you know what would be the point at this point you know honestly uh you know i don't even know 
like the hoopla's over it. I think the game's doing okay, I guess. But honestly, would there be this huge influx of players? I, I just don't think that there would be. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'll, you know, catch you guys next time.